Okay. Thread the end of your 10 inch elastic through the scrunchy lock. The small circle end should face one another at each end. Tie a small knot at the end of each elastic to make sure your lock stays in place. Then repeat with a second lock. Grab your scrunchie maker and attach your lock to the top and bottom of the pink barrel. Make sure your elastic is somewhat taut. Now pick your fun fabric. Slide the open portion of your fabric down the pink barrel. Then close the turquoise latch and scrunch the LE scrunch the fabric together to create your own unique shape. Then open the latch and carefully remove your lock from the pink barrel and slowly slide your fabric up the scrunchy maker. Now clip your lock together by connecting the small piece to the larger piece. Pinch the two pieces together until you hear a click. Then twist the notch to lock them into place. Use your fabric glue to seal the stitch edges together and hold the glue portion of your scrunchie together for a few seconds. Then leave it to dry overnight before showing off your trendy new accessory. Make a multicolor scrunchie, pick two of the nine inch fabrics and follow step one through five. Okay. <clears throat> Take two electric cord locks. One, two. and check. One with a thin vertical base, the other with a thick circular base. Choose your electric cord. Keep your unic oh, uh, Thread the end of your 10 inch electric cord through the scrunchy lock. The small circular end should face one another at the end. So just follow the photo. Small circle and should face one way or another at either end. Tie a small knot at the end of each elastic to make sure your lock stays in place. Then repeat with a second lock. Okay. Tie a small knot at the end of your elastic to make sure you sure your lock stays in place. Grab your scrunchie maker. And attach your lock to the top and bottom of the pink barrel. Oh, like here. Oh, I guess this one needs to be tied. I'm so confused. I'm not 
percent sure if I'm doing this right. <clears throat> Electric. Okay. Top and bottom of the pink barrel. Make sure your elastic is somewhat taut. Now pick your fab, your fun fabric. <sighs> hmm. I'll make this one for Jade. Should we go with unicorns? Someone is at the front door. Let's go with this silky. Ooh. How about this one? It's so pretty. Slide the open portion of your fabric down the pink barrel. That's what I'm doing. Then close the turquoise latch and scrunch the fabric together to create your own unique shape. How does this even work, dude? Oh, maybe it slides? It slides. It slides. It really does slide. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing wrong. Toycores latch and scrunch together to create your own unique shape. Then open the latch and carefully move your locks from the pink barrel and slowly slide your fabric up with the scrunchie maker. Okay, okay, grab scrunchie. Nope. No. Okay. This is a little more confusing than you would think. Slide the open portion of your fabric down the barrel, then close. Okay. Then unlatch and carefully remove your locks. Now clip the locks together by connecting the smaller piece to the larger piece.
it's a lot harder than you would think. And I guess you glue it. fixed it and now it's over there drying because yeah okay clip together your piece pins the two pieces together until you hear a click then twist the notches to lock them into place we use our fabric glue to seal the stitched edges together that'll be my next part hold the glue on your scrunchie together for a few seconds then leave it to dry overnight but sure, before showing off your time. Now this is a different version. Making your scrunchie, we'll do this one next. Make your scrunchie without elastic cord. First, drape your electric, drape your elastic cord inside the barrel. Drape. Drape your electric cord inside the barrel keeping plenty of excess elastic on either end. Next slide, the open portion of your fabric down the barrel using your pointer finger to hold the elastic in place. Then scrunch your fabric together and slowly slide your scrunchie up the barrel. Hold on to both ends of your scrunchie. Know the ends of elastic together to secure your scrunchie. Trim excess elastic cord and glue the fabric ends together. Remember to let it dry. Make your scrunchie sparkly. Give your scrunchie extra glitter. Apply a few dots of fabric glue on your scrunchie and add the gemstones and sequins on top. Let your accessories dry overnight. Okay, first drape your elastic cord inside the barrel. First, drape your elastic cord inside the barrel. Keep plenty of extra elastic on either side. Okay. 
keep plenty of extra elastic on either end. Next, slide open the portion of your fabric down the barrel. Okay. Using a pointer finger, hold the elastic in place. Pointer finger. This elastic's just falling. I don't like this one as much. Not at all. The other one's a tad bit easier. Leopard isn't my favorite. So, they're both pretty decent. Um, definitely keeping the box because I don't want to do all of these right now. But this is the machine. These parts are the scrunchie. So it scrunches the scrunchie. elastics. This one has to be the stronger elastic I think. I do like they give you like a variety that is good. I do like these ones like there's a couple pink. Maybe I'll do one for myself. Maybe I'll do one right now. them right now because they're still drying. Maybe we should try one with this elastic. I'm curious to see the difference between this elastic and the other elastic I used and the non-elastic. And yes, the pink and the purple are the same type.
so that much I do know. I'll move you over for this part, so I'm sorry if you see a hand or anything, or... Okay, yeah, you look weird, but... I'm just getting frustrated. <sighs> this one is a little harder to tie, I can tell you that much. I have no idea what that sound is from, other than upstairs. Hey, dude. This one would be for me because I love the color blue, teal, whatever. You name it, I love the color. So. so you can take them and go.
I kind of think the other ones are a little easier than this. But that is basically the machine itself. This part might be human error or the fact that just happened. Well that was a fail. We'll have to try this again another time. I think there's too many distractions and this elastic is just, I hate it. Once you're supposed to use this one without these. Oh, it makes sense. Ah, uh, really not sure. Okay, bye for now.